The introduction of redstone in Minecraft has been in the game since, well, 2012, or maybe 2011 as far as I can remember, and since the introduction of honey blocks in the 1.16 nether update, it's been revolutionized once again. So today I'm going to look through some of the old things that I know, as well as having a look at the new things, and we'll see how much I know about redstone in Minecraft. So to start things off, I think in general I should just start with some basics, knowing how things work. Yep, that feels about right. In general, this is just a bug power overall with the sticky piston holding the block up. Thankfully, it shouldn't be much of a problem when I'm trying to work with some of the stuff. So, how about we get into some more of the actual real contraptions that I should be able to remember. Building a 2x2 two two piston door shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's one of the oldest contraptions you can probably think back to when it comes to playing Minecraft, so hopefully I should be able to remember how you built this. Hey! There we go. Fairly simple. I can, I'm kind of surprised I can remember how to do this. Even though this is pretty much really simple. Flush with the full, full, blah, blah, blah. Flush with the wall piston door. It's simple, right? Right, next contraption. Building an automatic farm is fairly simple, I guess. But it is kind of difficult in some way. I can't exactly remember how you do it entirely. But overall, it shouldn't be much of a deal to build, I think. If I just do a sticky piston on the front. Yep, there we go. This is kind of how I remember doing a T flip flop. Put redstone into the front, of, or to the side of a block, which is a piston or a sticky piston below it. Then hammer a PR going at the back of it into anything, which will then create a one tick pulse. Sweet. If I try and power, try and put power. This is I'm, I'm stunned on this. I don't. I can't really find a way to get this powered. Or sorry, get this piston to flick consecutively like a few times. Hmm. I feel like this design took a lot longer than I really should anticipate on what you know, it took a good 20, maybe 15 minutes even just to get this kind of setup done with well, the old one. So I decided to just settle it and stop with the idea of going for a semi-system where it just shuts off the sunlight so you don't have to break it all the time. But thankfully I managed to get it done, so if I grab some seeds and turn on the system, I just need to do this and it automatically grows. Just need to hold right click and left click and yeah. I get free wheat, obviously I'm in creative, you can't really see that, so it's kind of a pain. But if I go into survival mode and I get some seeds, turn on the machine and hold right click and just press left click, you can see that I get a good bit of wheat. Right, I think that's about time we move on to the honey blocks. These guys are similar to slime blocks, except, well, I think you guys already know by now, but, well, if I just, they don't interact, they interact with one another. Oops, if I do it right. But they do not interact whatsoever with slime blocks. And the best thing is, they also pull blocks. So now we have another way to use basically a duplicate slime blocks that does not move slime blocks. So I think I know what I'm going to do for the first design of, well, using slime blocks and honey blocks, of course. I think I'll be good. I think it's safe to say I've come up with something pretty fun. This right here is a 3x3 piston door using slime blocks and honey blocks. But I like the idea to think that this is not an ordinary 3x3, but rather a space-like vault door. If I just hit the button, you can pretty much see for yourself. Really fast, and if I go through the other side, you can close on the other side too. Obviously, you have to do the same thing on the other side just by hitting blocks. But honestly, I quite like it. I like the idea of just having the vault door like this. I mean, placing blocks on this side, like, probably this would probably be better, but Whatever the case, I think it's good just to see that it actually functions, and I'm happy with it. Now I think for this idea, we're probably going to scale things back just a little bit, and so, doing a piston fee tape. Hopefully I should be able to remember how to do this, but overall, I'm not 100% confident in what I'm doing, honestly. Alright, I think I've got the piston fee tape done. It looks a bit mangled over the place, but it's... I think it works, I'm not sure. Let's try it. It was one cycle. It needs to be on a loop though, for some reason it didn't loop. Oh wait, maybe because I did do this. Hang on, wait. Um, let me have repeaters here for a second. Now let me try it. It should work now. No. For some reason it's not. Third time's the charm, they say. Hopefully it should work now with the loop. Let's try it. Nope. That was a massive fail and everything locked up. Alright, hopefully this should work this time. I don't know, but hopefully it should work. Okay, now these pistons are locked up, and I think that's due to the fact of this being too quick. 
I think that's the main thing I need to do, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. Um, it's sort of working. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like broken in general. Seventh times the charm, they say. Hopefully, actually, no one says that. Do they? Whatever the case, let's try it. Nope. After many more minutes of working, probably another half an hour, and a lot more effort put into fixing this, I think I'm done. Let's give it a test. I hate my life. I want to go out right now and say this for the sake of everyone on YouTube right now. I can't build piss and feed tapes. But one thing I do remember how to do is definitely build TNT missiles and boy have I missed doing stuff like this. As you can see we're aiming at the wreckage of the failed piston, piston feed tape. I've also decided to put an obsidian wall right next to the contraptions because I don't want to get them destroyed. Oh nice. If I just grab a flint and steel, we can get this party started. If you want to... no, oh, never mind. I'll just use a block then. There we go. Off she goes. I hope it doesn't damage the other stuff. And there they go. Goodbye. That was very nice. Didn't destroy as much as I wanted it to, but that's probably because it's stone. It's not stuff like, I don't know, wood or glass, because that's a lot weaker in terms of blasts. Well, I think I feel like I found that I'm genuinely okay at doing redstone. I feel like I'm good at building in general. Better than redstone at least. I don't know much about redstone, but overall, I do feel like I'm doing something that's more out of my comfort zone. But anyways guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, then be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to support my channel and get notified when my videos come out, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because you don't want to miss this kind of content. As well as me doing Splatoon and Smash Brothers, because those two games I just feel like you won't regret watching if you do watch them in general. Well, that's, that is when next video comes out, which should be Smash Brothers. So stay tuned for that, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you'll know when that video comes out. But anyways guys, thank you for watching. I will see you all in next video. Bye bye So if I build the same thing that I... Could you shush?